This is the Ulite complex, the most economical and compact alternative to monorail transport in the world. To accomplish this project, the engineers have had to invent entirely new technologies and equipment. When I first announced my decision to build in the Aquarial Eco Park our first commercial project, which would be cheaper than a highway, railway, or even a cableway, they said it was impossible. Ulite is the first commercial project of Unitsky's Train Technologies Incorporated. The Aquarel Eco Park is an endless chain of lakes, green shores covered with untouched woodland, incredible peace and serenity for which visitors from many countries come. The peculiarities of the area and the growing popularity of the Eco Park led its owner to think about building an elevated track to transport visitors. If you decide to build an elevated track, there are only two solutions in the world – a monorail and a cable car. We immediately rejected the monorail because it is a bulky and expensive system. The cable car remained, but it didn't suit the park either. You see, the cable car needs huge, expensive motors. It also works all the time and our flow of visitors is not very dense. The system would be expansive, noisy and idle most of the time. In general, none of these options were suitable for us. The park needed a special solution. The challenge was to construct the route above the woods, the houses and even lakes, without disturbing the Eco Park's operation. Unitsky's String Technologies Incorporated has taken on this unusual task. The company is founded by the famous Belarusian engineer Anatoly Unitsky. He's the author of the High Speed Vehicles with Unique Aerodynamics Project, the non rocket space exploration concept, and the inventor of string transport. Transport, especially if we talk about a transport complex, is always expensive. That is why I always knew that there should be simple and inexpensive solutions. But they should meet the functional requirements. That is, normal passenger flow, normal speed, transport should be efficient, economical, safe, and so on. And then I thought about making a lightweight system. The main challenge in designing the complex was to hit the cost targets for this facility. From the outset, the engineers faced three significant challenges. The first involved installing lightweight but robust supports on unstable soils. The second was to lay the track over the zoo and in close proximity to the residential buildings. And the third was to construct a lengthy overpass spanning the lake. These tasks had to be completed without causing any damage to the existing landscape. Despite the company's extensive experience, the chief engineer was aware of significant risks. My main concern was the coordination with the state authorities. In March 2019, the engineers began designing the complex, which would consist of two stations, an elevated track and an unmanned suspended electric vehicle. To minimize land allotment for the overpass, the string rail was pre-stressed. Thus, all the horizontal load was transferred to the stable anchoring structures, which are located at the ends of the track. As a result, the spacing of the supporting towers, which support the track structure and ultimately receive only a small vertical load, was increased to 260 meters. The total length of the track was 1,119 meters. We have a large area. The restaurant is in one part of it, the fishing is in the other, and the accommodation is in the third part. So, the complex solves the problem of logistics within our territory. The development of the Eco Park required a quick solution to the transport problem. 
the company set itself the goal of building the complex in just a few years. This is an extremely short time frame compared to competing transport systems. For example, it took almost nine years to build the Moscow monorail. Following a promising start, with the necessary expertise passed and the design work completed ahead of schedule, the creation of U-Light was at risk of being disrupted. The COVID-19 pandemic has disrupted the supply chains of components for the track structure and the U-Pod. A number of suppliers in Europe producing components for the string rail track structure and the U-Lite electric vehicle were forced to shut down their production facilities and some even went bankrupt due to the lockdowns. The quarantine measures also had a serious impact on logistics. Supply disruptions occurred. The original plan was to purchase a number of components from European manufacturers. But the changed situation forced the company to rethink its decisions and find analogs in other countries. And if that was not possible, to develop its own. The overpass must pass through certain points in space. To accurately calculate the height and location of the supports, it was necessary to create a 3D model of the entire route. The complex was built in a wetland area with the weak soil. The supports could move, which would disrupt the engineers' calculations. It was decided to build foundations separately for each of the two supporting towers tracks. This allowed to use only one hundredth of a hectare of alienated land for the supports and stations. All the work took a record two weeks. The engineers were able to preserve the natural terrain of the area without causing any environmental damage. Although the installation of the supports was successful, it was evident that the most challenging stage was yet to come. The installation of a track structure exceeding one kilometer in length on the supports. It was crucial to ensure that none of the track elements should touch the ground. Cables could be pulled along the ground, but as the track structure crosses the Aquarel Eco Park facilities, such as zoo, fishing ponds, sauna, so it could make the work more difficult and interfere with the guests' recreation. The builders were required to work at a considerable height, installing a robust string rail with extended steel ropes inside. This gives the structure the necessary strength and stability. To tension the steel ropes, the decision was to use powerful construction jacks. However, the designers encountered another challenge. The track did not run in a straight line. Furthermore, there was no precedent for stretching a string rail on a turning section. The engineers at Unitsky String Technologies Incorporated were to implement this technique for the first time. To meet this challenge, the engineers designed a unique pivoting support. Everybody used to say, how can you rotate? It's not possible. So here we are, a turn with about 20 degrees. Its design combines the compactness of a supporting tower with the high load-bearing capacity of an anchoring structure. The track of the U-Light complex is the lightest of all tracks designed by UST Incorporated. Therefore, it required a special U-Pod model intended to transport not only passengers, but also cargo. Given the track's strict weight restrictions, it was necessary to develop an ultra-lightweight, high-speed, unmanned electric vehicle. For instance, should the weight of the vehicle or the rail exceed the standard parameters, the track structure would require additional tension, thereby increasing the cost and expenses of erecting the anchoring structures. 
a series of studies conducted at the UST's own test center enabled engineers to test dozens of composite materials and alloys. As a result, U-Lite got a lightweight but strong aluminium frame and non-combustible polycarbonate cladding. To provide a smooth ride and reduce the load on the track, the U-Lite's independent suspension with 8x8 wheel arrangement was designed. We utilized metal wheels with polymer inserts in order to minimize the noise. We set 65 decibels in the U-Lite transport system, and we have achieved 64 decibels. In comparison, the monorail operates at a noise level of 75 to 85 decibels. Our system is more than a hundred times quieter. It is comparable to a conversation in a room. The way I am speaking is about 68 decibels. And now is 65 decibels. So the car actually drives very silently. The result is impressive. U-Lite can reach speeds of up to 80 kilometers per hour. The complex is capable of carrying up to 10,000 passengers or up to 1,000 tons of cargo per day. Consider this. The transportation of this number of passengers requires 100 buses, while all the cargo can fit in 33 shipping containers. This is incredible for such a small vehicle. Furthermore, U-Light is highly cost-effective. The energy of a regular household hair dryer for an hour usage is enough for U-Light to travel 26 kilometers. When you stand under this thin and delicate string, you wonder if it was a good idea. April 2023 was the moment of truth for the lightest transport infrastructure system of UST Incorporated. The future of the entire project was contingent upon whether the system passed the tests. Before opening the complex, the engineers had to carry out a series of tests to ensure the safety of the structure. The world is full of examples when even a minor mistake has led to disaster. For example, the super high-speed train Transrapid, created by Siemens and ThyssenKrupp engineers, required a constant cleaning of the track, as even small fractions were dangerous for it. On the day of the test run, the Transrapid collided with a track cleaning train at a speed of around 200 km per hour resulting in the tragic loss of 23 lives. The test drive of U-Lite at the highest possible load and the highest possible speed is the riskiest test ever undertaken. The engine starts. The engineers closely monitor its performance. Since no one had ever done it before, we were afraid it wouldn't work. Now, six months after the work began, the developers of the world's first commercial string transport will be able to assess the accuracy of their calculations. In the event of an error, a range of potential issues may arise, including a collision with a pillar, a derailment or a fire. Approximately half a ton of metal plates have been loaded into U-Lite. The rail electric vehicle on steel wheels sets off at the maximum speed for the given track. Breathlessly, the engineers take the necessary measurements. The predicted performance is achieved, and it's a triumph for the team. In just three years, a lightweight and economical transport complex was designed, built and tested, which will last for more than 50 years. Despite everything, the project was completed on time. The team created a very light and reliable machine with the safety systems such as individual rescue systems, fire extinguishing systems, overload protection. 
When you light started moving, everyone was filming with their cell phones, turning around and looking at it. It filled me with a sense of pride that we had made this project a reality. If you stand a little bit aside, the rail is not visible at all, and it seems as if the vehicle is moving through the air. It is really fascinating. No one has ever done this before. You light is the pride and the trademark of the Aquarel Eco Park and one of the region's main attractions. With the light fishing tackle set, it's possible to get here quickly from the checkpoint without walking a lot. It's quiet, it's fast and environmentally friendly. Especially in Belarus, there are no analogs or anything similar. It moves very silently, so among all this beauty, you may not even notice the transport. It's a fascinating experience. The complex attracts tourists. The experience there goes beyond the typical eco park, where nature is a prominent feature. Many visitors enjoy the opportunity to take a ride and capture a photo from the cabin of Ulight, which offers a stunning view of the eco park. The 360 degree horizontal panoramic glazing is a real pleasure when passing trees. General designer Anatoly Yunitsky achieved his goal. He gave passengers the feeling of flying. To fly above the ground, the pond, and the lake. To admire the beauty of the Aquarel Eco Park. The complex became a clear example of the evolution from the bulky reinforced concrete structures of the monorail to the light and delicate overpass of string transport. The myth that it is expensive to build a monorail analog has been debunked. u light is the Unitsky String Technologies' first commercial project commissioned by the Aquarel Eco Park, the lightest and the most economical of all ever created.